I wish I was outside with these cars today, not inside, and I bet you probably do too. Thanks for tuning in to Full Throttle RC today. I can't even begin to tell you how aggravated I am. I spent all morning getting my two drag cars back in running condition and charged up some batteries only for the sky to come falling down. Drag cars and rain don't mix too well. And I've actually been dealing with a little bit of a stomach bug the past few days, so I guess I'm staying inside. I really wanted to do another drag racing video this week because so many of you have been asking for it. But with the schedule I set for myself for producing these videos, I'm running out of time. I did do some work to both of these cars, so let's go over the changes. I'm particularly excited about the new addition to the no prep car. Before we get started, you might have noticed something a little different. I've been redesigning my workspace in the house, trying to help keep things clean and make builds and stuff more efficient. I put up a slat wall system so that I can hang tools and parts and even cars on the wall. I still have some lighting to add and a little more organizing, but I like it so far. This is part of the reason why you haven't seen a running video in a little while. I've been pretty busy. Bear with me with the lighting until I get this all finished up. The front engine dragster needed some new steering links and a new lower wheelie bar link. What I had used originally was the links from the RH Designs SMT10 sway bar kit. If you watched last week's video, you'll know that I put all of those links back on the truck. I was able to take some of the other links and modify them to get what I needed for the dragster. The wheelie bar is a little higher than it was originally, but I'll see what it does when I'm finally able to test it out again. For the no prep car, I was able to make a new rear body mount that's a lot more rigid. I've started doing a little carbon fiber fabrication for a few parts, but I've never actually explained or shown in a video how I do it. The main thing about carbon fiber is the dust particles that working with it produces. That stuff is really bad and has a funny odor, so it's a good idea to wear safety glasses and a respirator or mask if you're cutting with any kind of power tool. I have to go outside in the shop to work with this stuff, and I can't get any usable footage with the lighting out there. So I'll try to do my best to explain this step by step. For this mount, I figured out where the posts needed to be and mounted them to the plate first. After figuring out where the other mounting holes would go, I started trimming out the actual shape. I think ideally, a bandsaw would probably be best for cutting this stuff. I don't have one, so I use a handsaw to rough cut the entire shape. Now, it's not pretty at this point. And I even took a few pictures to show how bad the hand cut lines look. But after some filing and sanding, it's not too bad. This definitely isn't my best carbon work. And I considered scrapping it and starting all over. But hey, the body normally covers that up. We'll see how long the perfectionist in me lets that ride. I had to cut a couple spaces to lift it up a little. And it screws to what was originally the B5M wing mount. This is way more sturdy than the original mounts and it takes a little more to line the body up because I mounted the post just a hair too far forward. It actually might help keep the body from flopping around as much, so that'll be something to watch and keep in mind if I decide I want to remake it. This is actually the first time I try the C7 body on it. I made the mount using the Nova body. You can see me struggle with it a bit. It's definitely tight and I may have to open the holes up a bit, but it fits and that's all that matters. I really wanted to try out both of these cars today and especially wanted to see if I could get the dragster over 40 miles an hour. I think it may almost be time for me to pick up another RC that's waterproof so I can still go out and have fun even when it's raining like it seems to do every other day here in Louisiana. I'll try again next week to make some passes but I guess that's it for this video. I'm curious how many of you have tried making RC parts out of carbon fiber. Let me know what kind of cool stuff you've made with carbon in the comments below. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe so you don't miss next week's video, hopefully outside. As always, thanks again for watching. Peace.